Right, so there's the Swiss Micros uh, DM16, which is the HP16 recreation. And that's the HP15. Genuine Hewlett Packard. Slide it. So yeah, so this is the case that comes with the with the Swiss Micros. And I guess this is the it's a bit flimsy. I guess once you put it in a few times. There we go, Swiss Micros and Hewlett Packard. And this was the uh, optional leather case. Not embossed or anything. Well, that's a bit easier. There we go. So the new Hewlett Packard 15C Collector's Edition. Um, can I say, very nice, very nice calculator. Now to uh, learn how to use it. Right, okay, where to start? Okay, so I'm not, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a professional at this, I'm just using my phone with the tripod and a microphone, which I don't know if it actually does anything. Uh, but we'll start with the HP 15C and the Swiss Micros DM16L. So I guess one of the first things is the uh, the case. I, I definitely prefer the Swiss Micros case. I just feel it's a bit thicker. It's a bit harder. This is the leather case for the 15C collectors. Um, I just think that this, yeah, okay. And it's got a little mark on the LCD. Um, I just think it's it's a bit more protective than the um, than the um, 15Cs, but obviously you know if you've got a, it's not a ten dollar calculator, so you, you know you, you've got to look after it. Um, having said that, so just comparing the keys, so yeah, as, as a lot of people have um, commented, so this is Swiss Micros, you know, one of well the oldest kind of design, I guess. Um, so. You can see this is this is what they've gone for. Um, yeah, it's a nice it's a nice feel. It's definitely better than uh, say you know a Casio or, or some other sort of calculator, but it is quite different to a genuine HP, which you can see here. Very 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 nice feel. You know you can't can't really improve on that. So that's. That's kind of where they were. So I don't, I don't know when the, the DM16 came out. It's, it's been quite a few years now. And I, I kind of guess that, it, in addition to their, you know, their credit card size ones, which are very different, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's one of their original designs. But then if we look at, if we want to stick to the Swiss Micros, um, Put those aside we've got the uh 42 what's the 42 s i think is it yep 42 s and the uh, swiss micros uh dm42 so yeah this is this is another evolution so we we can see that we've gone we've got slightly angled keys on the swiss micros and which kind of almost matches the the original the the 42s um i would say probably it's a bit of a you know it's not a clicky feel on the 42s um i would have to say i would probably prefer the dm42 over the um the original the hp42 um definitely definitely the the uh, the swiss micros is is heavier it's a metal case compared to plastic. It's obviously got a bigger display. Um, it's, um, it's definitely a lot better built than the 42S. So, um, let me zoom out a bit. So, yeah, on, on this one, I would go for the, for the Swiss Micros, to be honest. Um, 
you know, you can obviously get a 42S, you know, because it's a genuine Hewlett Packard, but, you know, you're obviously you're paying your money or you're lucky to get one in a good condition. Then if we look at the, the 41, so I've got a 41CX here. That's the 41CX, and again, we go back to the beveled keys. A nice, nice feel, nice feel, I, I, I like that. And the, the Swiss Micros, very clicky. So, again, we can see Swiss Micros, we've maintained the kind of angled keypad, not the same as the Hewlett Packard. So, again, I said maybe, maybe this design is patent, I, I, I don't know. Um, Comparing them, they're different. I like them both. I like the HP 41 feel, but then the the Swiss Micros is actually comparable, I think, to, apart from the key shape, is actually comparable to the, um, the 15C. So, yeah, and, and of course the Swiss Micro's latest, the, the DM32. I, I don't have one of those. Um, obviously that's an evolution. So with, with Swiss Micro's we've gone, say, I've only got three, uh, which is probably three more than I actually need, but anyway. So we've gone, just have a look down. So we've gone from the, 16 to the 42 so basically the difference here is the key shape same sort of feel and then from the 42 we've gone to the 41x same key shape but you can see it's a lot clickier on the 41x Right, uh, let me just tidy up a bit. Wanna, like I, said, I, just, I thought this might be a little bit of fun. Um, not, not serious. Um, just thought it might be interesting. Uh, I've got a few others here. So 35S HP. A little bit clicky. We've got the um, HP shaped keys. So that's 35S. What else have we got in here? We've got a 48G. So that's, I guess that is, you can see the, um, that I guess would be, I'm not a HP expert, so um, I just like their calculators. So I guess that is kind of a similar, uh, similar um, time as the 42S. Let me just zoom out a bit. So 48G, 32S. Okay, throw these over here. I'll sort them out later. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got um, we've got the seventy-five D, which I know is not a calculator; it's a computer. And we've got the seventy-one B. So, so we've got the Hewlett Packard shape on there. Not clicky, not clicky. Whereas here we've got, um, I guess, flatter keys. Nice solid feel though. Yeah, so that's the 71B and 75D that I've got. Um, these two are related. I guess you can guess what that one is. It's the uh, 97. I like to compare this to um, Series 80. <laughs> 85, HP 85? I'm not sure. What's the HP 86? No, 87 maybe. Um, but yeah, so we've got a HP 97 and a 67 side by side here. And again, we can see that we've got the Hewlett Packard um, key shape, uh, which is actually a bit, a bit different to what we've got on the 97. I guess we're, you know, we're going for I don't know what we're going for here. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a HP historian, so um, I'm sure I can be corrected. So I'm just I'm just an admirer. 
So that's the 97. <laughs> so we've got Hewlett Packard have had quite a few different shapes and, and styles over the years, I guess, but you've got different. And what's this one? A 45. So we don't really have the shape. Uh, 45 versus a 67. Again, I know I'm probably taking one from one era and one from another era completely different. I know, I know. But um, just, you know, just comparing the different designs that Hewlett Packard have used over the years. Um, that was it. I'm going to say nothing, nothing serious. Just a, maybe a little bit of interest. Um, time to pack up before the wife comes home and she realises how many calculators I've got. Uh, bye for now.